you know what we got to understand in this truth? If you don't do what God said to do, he will shut you down. If you come out here with the spirit of fear on you, God's going to shut you down. That's why don't be, don't be shaking at our demeanor. Don't be shaking at the way that we bring this word. The Bible commanded us to cry aloud. And what? Spare not. We're not sparing your feelings. We're not sparing your thoughts or opinions. We can care less about that. The truth is the truth. And you have not received that yet. The same shucking and jiving instead of what God is talking about. Hey, I got a question for you right here, brother. Brother, you believe in that word you got in your hand? Do you believe that Bible, my brother? I'm your brother. Don't, don't be worried to talk to me, bro. Do you believe that Bible that you got in your hand? I can't hear you. Yeah. What's your name, bro? I'm in DC. Huh? I'm in DC. 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 Listen, my name is Deacon Abiel. What's your nationality? You know who you are according to the Bible, bro? What have, what, what have you been told that you are? Black, right? Can you find that in the Bible? What would you do right now, brother, if I told you that you, I'm talking about you, DC, that you are so special that you're written up in the scriptures, that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for you so that you can make it to the kingdom of heaven? What would you do if I told you that, bro? What would you do if I told you they lied about your nationality and that you're not black, but that you're one of the children of Judah, a descendant of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? You realize how special you are, bro? Bring it out. Would you believe it? What if I showed you it in the Bible? Would you believe it then? What kind of Bible you got right there? Uh, no, bro, to... Come here, I want to show you something real quick, bro. Like I said, I'm your brother. We ain't out here to be against you. We out here because we love you, okay? No, no, right here. Stop. Open your Bible up real quick, bro. I want to show you something. Give me Matthews. Give me Matthews in your Bible. Let's go to Matthews. Again, we are Israel united in Christ. We are out here for you. We answer all Bible questions. Don't be scared of us. We love our people. That's right. We're here so that you can figure out what this Bible's really talking about. Because they've been lying to us for a long time. That's right. Give me Matthews. I want the 18th chapter. I want to show you something, bro. How old are you, brother? 25 years old, right? You've been reading the Bible a little while now? Okay. Off and on. Watch this. Give me Matthews, the 18th chapter. Got that? Now watch this, brother. I want you to find me verse 11 in Matthews 18. Get the camera close. This is Matthews, the 18th chapter. I want you to read verse 11 too. Is there something wrong? What's wrong? 11's gone, isn't it? <laughs> He's like, well, hold on now. Wait a minute. Now, real quick, can you mind if I see this real quick? I want to show the people something. Check this out. We're reading from a New World Translation. This is what you know as Jehovah Witnesses use. You Jehovah Witness, brother? Okay, Jehovah Witnesses are the ones that kind of orchestrated this book. This is the New World Translation, right? Matthew's the 18th chapter wake up to him being an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Bring it out. What means would they go through to keep this knowledge from you? Watch this. Matthew's 18, 11. Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. Come on. For the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ, come on, is come to save, is come to save, read, that which was what was lost. That which was what? That which was lost. That which was lost. Brother, who was lost? Who was lost, brother? You got a scripture? Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, bro, you lost right now. Our people, we are lost. I want to show you something. Bring it out. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Come on. Bring it out. Yeah. Then Jesus went this and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. That is which was lost. That's right. 
They removed this from your book so you would know that Jesus Christ specifically came and died for you. Right. He specifically was made. God brought him up. Let's get that. Give me that axe. Bring it out. Bring it out. God raised him up for you. You know that, bro? Give me that Acts 529. This is why we out here, bro. We out here because we love our people. Stuff like this, like this, I'm going to tell you right now. You need to get you another Bible. That's not the only thing that they changed. That's right. That's not the only thing that they've taken out. You see, look at that, bro. The whole verse is gone. What did the, we're going to read that about what the Bible said about removing things. We're going to get that in a second, but watch this. Read it. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Come on. The God of our fathers raised up Jew Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus the Christ, whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Read. Him hath God exalted with his right hand. God exalted and he raised him up. God made him. He made the Son of God, Jesus Christ, with his right hand. Read. To be a prince. To be a what? A prince. Come on. And a savior. And a savior. Read. For to give repentance to Israel. To give repentance to who? To Israel. Repentance to who? To Israel. Come on. And forgiveness of sin. Jesus Christ came for you, bro. That's to right. give you repentance. He gave you a chance to get to the kingdom. Right. To have your sins forgiven. You are so special that they wanted to remove this from your Bible so you wouldn't realize that Christ came to die for the lost sheep in the house of Israel. Watch this. Give me Revelations real quick. Or oh, Revelations, the 22nd chapter. And this is around the last verse. You got it? Watch this. This is a warning. This shows you the people that made this book, they're not of God. Now me, I was just like you, bro. I was walking around. Matter of fact, I was 23 years old. Went out and bought me a brand new, new international version Bible. See, the NIV and the New World Translation, they, they run hand in hand. Same demons made it. You got that? Yes, sir. Watch this, bro. Revelation chapter 22, verse 19. Come on. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. So if you take away from this book, God's going to take away your name from the book of life. You understand how serious that is? Bring it out. So do you think they care? You think they had the fear of God in them? Bring it out. Bring it out. No, that goes right along with all these, see all these scriptures in between? That's not in the Bible. That's them trying to teach you something. That's them trying to say, oh, this verse references this and this references that. Nobody can show you what God is talking about except for those that keep God's commandments. Hey, hey, Give me hey. Psalms 111 and verse 10. Watch this, bro. Bring it out. Listen, bro. Today's a good day, brother. I don't know if you realize this, DC, but God has called you today, bro. Yes, bro. Now's the time for you to get it right. Give me that. Psalms 111 and verse 10. Psalm chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Read. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. The only people that can show you what God is talking about is those that do God's commandments. Don't trust nobody that ain't keeping God's commandments. You understand right. me? Let me show you something real quick. You love God? You love the Lord? I'm about to see right now, DC. Watch this. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11. Bring it out. This is something that I didn't know. I was 23 years old, trying to search, find, what is this Bible talking about? You got that? Yes, sir. First Corinthians 11, get to the point. First Corinthians 11, chapter, chapter 11, verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. You know what that means? When you pray, or whenever you speak about God, if you talk about God, the Bible says the man's supposed to have his head uncovered. I want you to look around, DC. Look at these brothers out here right now. You notice what we don't got? We know. We ain't got hats on, bro. You know why? Because the Bible says any man that prays or prophesies, having his head covered, dishonors his head. You know who your head's supposed to be? Jesus Christ. Give me that. In, uh, verse 2. Bring it out. Bring it out. Again, we are Israel united in Christ here to teach you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans the truth about your heritage and where you come from. Right. You got that? Yes, sir. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Come on. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So you sitting here right now having your head covered, brother, and you in the scriptures? The Bible says you dishonor in Christ. So I'm going to ask you again, do you love the Lord? 
you love God, bro. Okay, so what's that mean you need to do? What are you supposed to do anytime you pray in a prophesy? I don't care if your head jacked up, my hair be jacked up too, bro. When you have this Bible open, bro, you need to take that off if you really love God. That's what I'm talking about. Said, Listen, come here, bro. Listen to me. You all right with me, DC. You all right with me, bro. And more importantly, if you keep God's commandments, you're going to be all right with Christ. Today is your day. Today is time for DC to realize who he is and how important he is and to come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Again, we're Israel United in Christ here to teach you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You got any questions, bro? Uh, Anything you want to know, bro, we'll go through it. It's nothing. This is what the prophets of God are supposed to do. Right. Right. Okay, one thing, like, uh, the trials of the world. You know, Hold on, let me get the mic to you. Like the trials of the world and uh, you know, like the problems and issues. What's the best? What's the best thing to do on that? You know what I mean? And um, uh, you know. Okay. Basically, you going through it, right? It's a struggle, right? Watch this. Give me that, please. Ask us, chapter two. You already got it. That's the armor bearer right here. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Start at verse one. I want you to pay close attention, bro. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him. Wait, read that one more time. I'm sorry. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Would you? truly decide to serve God, prepare yourself, DC. You know why? Because Satan's coming at you. Satan's gonna throw every curveball at you. Look at us, bro. Look at us out here, DC. Satan's gonna throw every curveball at you to try to get you to fall off. Right. To try to get you to put this Bible down. Right. To try to get you out here drunken and drunkenness and, and uh, whatever else they got going on out here, drugs and everything else. That ain't your way, DC. Read on. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Make not haste in time of trouble. Whenever these things come, a lot of times people make haste and run away. Oh, I can't deal with this. Oh, I can't deal with the struggle. You know why? Because Christ is rooted in them. A person that has Christ rooted in them, you know what they're gonna do whenever temptation Whenever trials and tribulations come their way, you know what they're gonna do? We're gonna cleave unto God. Right. Because we know that by him and through him, that's the only way we're gonna get anything accomplished or any peace is gonna come our way. We are going through the fire right now. Right. And guess what, DC? You being tried. God has set you in the exact place where you need to be so that you can make the decision whether or not to serve him or not. I'm gonna tell you right now, mainstream so-called Christianity has led our people astray, bro. Right. Let me ask you one question. Watch this. We know in the Bible it says that broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there be many that go in there at, right? So if we look at what, what what's the common thing in the world? What is everybody calling themselves today? Christians, right? What makes them different than the rest of the world? What makes them different? Nothing. You notice whenever you came to us, what do we do? We go to the scripture. We let the Bible talk. This is what it explains our faith. This is what brings us closer to God. Not smooth words, not a sermon, and the Lord, and God. No, the Bible. All that stuff is smoke and mirrors. That's what these pastors is doing. Smoke and mirrors until you give up your money. The men that you see standing before you, we all got jobs. We work for a living. We're not waiting for the people to bring money to the pulpit. We go going out, we look at this, we out in the streets where these pastors won't come. They don't want no part of this, especially at this time. They don't want to be out here. But we come out here for our people because we love our people. We love you. So now's the time, DC, to change your life and turn it around. You got that what I wanted in Hebrews? Is that First Corinthians? That's what it is, First Corinthians. I'm sorry, go ahead. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. There's nothing that you're going through right now, DC, that nobody else has been through. Trust me, some of the men you see up here right now was standing in the same place that you're standing there right now. 
the same place. You can't tell me nothing now. I know, man, coming up, it was hard. We all been there. Yeah. God ain't put nothing on you that you can't get out of, DC. You just gotta, you gotta reach. God is calling you. Read us. But God Read is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. You know what that means? He says he's not gonna let you, he's not gonna let you suffer above that which you're able to bear, meaning God ain't going there's always going to be a way for you to get up out of where you at. There's always going to be that. You got to be strong enough and dig in you that God already knows you got it. You have the strength. But you got to stand up. Don't be running around looking for, for a hand up. Somebody going to do something for you. You got to do it. DC got to make it happen. Right. Scripture says faith without works is what? Dead. It ain't, ain't going to fall out the sky. You got to get up and go get it. You have it in you to serve the Lord. You just right. got to make that decision. All right, drop everything. Give me first John. So I got a question, DC. You believe on Christ to the point to where you're going to do what he did, correct? All right, watch this. Give me first John chapter 2. Read verse 3. First John chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Today is a new day for you, bro. Today you're learning God's commandments. You're learning how to walk in Christ. You're learning how to walk as he walked. Read. He that said, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. Read. And the truth is not in him. Come on. But whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of God perfected. So what you're working towards now, DC, is keeping the word that God has spoken unto us. That's where the love of God is perfected. God don't care about no emotions. God is not the type that he, he's not men like us. A lot of times we sit up, we think if we cry about God, God is closer to us. God don't care about no tears. No. Your actions is what he cares about. Give me that first Samuels 2 or 3. He don't care nothing about weeping, mourning, being sad, if you're not keeping his commandments. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? You got that? First Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Come on. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, Read. and by him actions are weighed. Actions are weighed. God weighs what you do. So I got a question. Give me Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. I want, I want you to let me know if you know anything about this day. Exodus 20 and verse 8. Watch this. Yeah. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy man servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So on the Sabbath, what are you not supposed to be doing? Working, right? It is a holy convocation. You know what you're supposed to be on the Sabbath, bro? Right there at 1617 Northeast 23rd Street, bro. That's right. Meet us. We'll be down there this Saturday. You live over here? Uh, something like that, yeah. I understand. It's, it's, it's real. But can you be there this Saturday? Yeah. Come check us out. 3 o'clock Saturday. Be there right there. You know where our building is at? Come check us out, all right, DC? Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.